Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be discussing small cell carcinoma. Small cell carcinoma is a cancer that is often seen in smokers. It is going to be associated with MYC oncogene in some cases and it is going to be centrally located in the lungs. Here I'm going to be drawing a picture of a lung. So imagine that this is a lung. When we say that small cell carcinoma grows centrally, it is mainly going to grow in the bronchi. So here we have these cancer cells that are going to be populating the bronchi. And as you can imagine, as these cancer cells grow, it is going to obstruct airflow. When it obstructs airflow, it is going to result in shortness of breath which can be a clinical sign of small cell carcinoma. As you can imagine, with these cancer cells growing and proliferating, it can inflame the tissue. When it inflames the tissue, it can result in bleeding, which can present with hemoptysis or coughing up blood. And because the bronchi is obstructed, it is going to make it harder for the person to breathe in and out. As a result, it can also cause weight loss because it is going to take more energy for that person to breathe in and out due to the fact that there are cancer cells that are going to be obstructing airflow. And another thing that can happen is a chronic cough. And the reason for this is because we can get a cough whenever there's a foreign uh, foreign material that is present in our body and a cancer is going to be a foreign material and then can cause a chronic cough. And this can also be a clinical finding that can be present in these patients. Now histologically what we can see is these Kulschitski cells. So here is a histological slide of small cell carcinoma and in the red I've circled Kulschitski cells and these cells are going to be very undifferentiated. And as you can see in this picture, the borders are going to be poorly defined. The cells are growing on top of one another. And as a result, what is going to happen is the cancer is going to be have uh, is going to be very aggressive due to the fact that these cells are very undifferentiated. So the more undifferentiated a cancer cell is the worst of prognosis for the patient. So as we said earlier, is going to carry a poor prognosis. Now, small cell carcinoma, because it is a neuroendocrine tumor, we're going to have uh, positive findings of neuropacific analase, chromogranin A, as well as synaptophysin. And because it is a neuroendocrine tumor, we're going to have a strong correlation with perineoplastic disorders. So small cell carcinoma especially has a high correlation with these perineoplastic disorders like Cushing's disease, which is an increase or high cortisol levels, SIADH, an increase in thyroidic hormone, and as well as Lambert-Eden syndrome. And Lambert-Eden syndrome, what is going to happen is the body is going to develop antibodies against the uh, calcium channels. And as a result, acetylcholine is not going to be released. And when acetylcholine is not released, it's going to cause uh, muscle weakness. So this muscle weakness is going to get better throughout the day. And remember that Small cell carcinoma is going to be the lung cancer that is going to have a strong correlation with perineoplastic disorders.